Cause I'm God. Cause I'm God. Cause I'm God. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you are well. For Ramadan 2024, Sense Islam has teamed up with Charity Right. There's a food crisis in Gaza. More than half a million people in Gaza, a quarter of the entire population are now believed to be at the most severe phase 5 catastrophic levels of hunger, meaning they are at high risk of starvation. Charity Right's work in Gaza is a lifeline providing food packs and hot meals to children and families. With your support and the blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have an aim to support as many families as we can this Ramadan. Inshallah. Donate now. Link in the description box below. In a sudden twist of events, Kanye West, the mysterious music icon, has once again ignited a firestorm of controversy that has sent shockwaves rippling through the entertainment industry. Kanye West seems to have a close relationship with controversies. Every now and then, he finds himself in the middle of some kind of drama or scandal. It's like he's always stirring things up and keeping people talking about him. From his outspoken opinions to his unexpected actions, Kanye has a knack for grabbing headlines and sparking debates. Kanye West has publicly identified as a Christian and has spoken about his faith in an interviews and through his music. He has been vocal about his beliefs in God and has incorporated themes of Christianity in his work, particularly in his album, Jesus is King. But in Kanye West's recent interview on Big Boy TV has sparked widespread attention among viewers. In the interview, Kanye came out with the unexpected revelations and bold statements, many of which included him comparing himself to God and admitting to having issues with Jesus. Because I'm God. And anyone who disagree, I'm the God of me. And you can't tell me who I am. I can't tell y'all. I could tell y'all. It's y'all job to listen. I'm the God of me. I don't know if I'm in heaven already and shit. I got number one. From that. Paul, you know, I might be on like a fourth dimension version of the lifestyle. <laughs> in the 80 minute interview with a radio host alongside Ty Dollar Sign, Kanye stated that he's had his issues with Jesus, adding, there's a lot of stuff I went through that I prayed and I don't see Jesus show up. It is, but I, you know, I, I have my issues with Jesus. There's a lot of stuff I went through that I prayed and I ain't see Jesus show up. So I had to put my, uh, my experience in this world, my experience with my children, my experience with other people, my experience with my account, my experience with my brand, and my experience with the level of music that I was dealing with in my own hands. Later on, Kanye West states about not liking the fear of God in Christianity was indeed a major shocker. At the end of the day, it's like, why should you fear? You know, it's another thing I don't like in Christianity, the fear of God. If God is love, why should you fear him? Because you place one fear, you get another fear, you get another fear, what do you have at that point? You're easily controllable. You're easily sellable. You're easily contracted because you have this fear on you. Kanye seems to be advocating for more love-centered approach to spirituality, emphasizing the idea that if God is truly loving, there should be no need to fear him. Towards the end of the interview, Kanye went from talking about not having fear of things to having fear of nothing, not even fearing God. Now that is messed up. Like everybody gonna die eventually, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna live my entire life with zero fear. Fear of a contract, fear of perception, fear of getting my black card, denied. Fear. I'm not going to jump in front of a train. Right, right, right. <laughs> Be conscious. Right. You know. Brothers and sisters, from a Muslim perspective, I would like to clear the misunderstandings. If anyone, Muslim or not, may have regarding our God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and us, his servants. Islam emphasizes the fundamental importance of faith, fear and devotion to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the ultimate creator and sustainer of the universe. As Muslims, it is our duty to submit to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, recognizing that He alone controls our destinies and determines our fates. This understanding guides us to prioritize our spiritual well-being and eternal salvation over worldly pursuits, knowing that True success and fulfillment lie in our connection with Allah and our preparation for the afterlife. Anyone who strays away from the core principles of faith, fear 
and devotion to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may not be considered a faithful Muslim. It's crucial for us to uphold these principles as essential components of true faith and righteousness in our religion. Having said that, we can conclude that Kanye West's actions and words do not align with being faithful, especially when he challenges the nature of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is boastful and absolutely disrespectful to the one who gave life to a man like Kanye. That's it for today guys. Let us know what you think about Kanye's beliefs in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to like, share our videos if you appreciate our work. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.